CrossFit. Welcome to another Fitness Friday video. A while back, we talked toast to bar. We talked about some of the ways in order to facilitate some better toes to bar, pushing back, really pulling those toes up, making sure we get contact, lowering the level of the target if we need to in order to get that kip going. But recently, I was watching the Dubai CrossFit Championship and I saw some of the ways that people cycle toes to bar, some actually some athletes that I find to be very good at gymnastics doing some cycling things that I don't think are the best way to do them. So today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to do some cycling toes to bar and hopefully give you some comfort in getting those reps going and to be efficient within that toes to bar cycle. So the Three that I'm gonna talk about today. One is a very strict kip. It is a very pretty kind of gymnasty way to do them. The third and the last, the one that I am actually going to not recommend, is more of a crossfitty way of doing them. It is a kind of like a bicycle kick way of doing it. Doesn't use your shoulders strictly as lower body and abs. We'll talk about that here in a bit. And then the second is going to be a blend of the two. This is kind of where I find my meat and potatoes in workouts. Um, really where I find that kind of smooth, easy way of doing those toes to bar, able to repeat them consistently. So with that, here we go. The first way. This will be the way that I don't want you to do them. Let's get that out of the way first. So here we go. As you can see, when I hop up on the bar, I have a start with a decent kip. I have some shoulder activation, but once I get going, my shoulder joint, that change in the angle doesn't change very much. It's very static. I'm using a lot of hip flexor here, a lot of core, and I am going to wear out very fast in this. Chances are I'm not gonna be able to do big sets for very long. I might be able to hit one or two because I am decreasing my time under tension just a little bit, but I'm gonna be less efficient here. So moving on, in that one, I would, again, suggest not doing them that way, mainly for the benefit of consistency. It is easy to lose that kip, easy to lose our momentum, and like I said, we're not getting a, a good advantage from our shoulder joint. Using those big, strong muscles, the more joints we put in there, the easier they can be to maintain because I have more recovery cycles in me. So let's take a second look, or uh, a look at that Gymnasty version, kind of that real pretty version, um, right now. So in this one, as you can see, I have a very nice hollow body position. I keep that kip, that hollow body in the front, hollow body in the back, and then I kick up, um, keeping that push away nice and strong. This is the one that I talk about when I give people the cue of the window, really pulling that head through the window, pushing back, as far as I can in order to create a lot of tension. This one uses a lot of shoulder joint. Because of the slow nature of the reps, I am going to not want to use this in short sets. These are my long sets. These are my max effort sets. I'm able to consistently do this, although my time under tension is a little longer. So in that one, guys, um, again, not as short term, not as fast more time under tension so it's gonna wear us out over time but if we are doing a single set maybe a long piece of that workout I can kind of blend the two into what I would suggest that you do let's take a look at that now so in this one I have that nice hollow body position I use my shoulders I have a good kip that hollow body is very much there but I also kind of use that bicycle kick with my legs a little bit to keep things nice and short. I don't go beyond that horizontal, or that vertical plane, excuse me, very much. I just do it enough in order to get that uh, range of motion standard going. I also really push back here, so I use that same kind of thought process of into and out of the window, but this gives me the ability to be repeatable, be quick, and be efficient. So with that, please give those three a try. See what works best for you. Chances are one of them will work better than the others. But if you have any questions, grab me, grab one of the coaches, maybe a little personal training session, who knows. Uh, but with that, ask any questions, ask away. 
but have a fantastic weekend.